Hi, Yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and it's time for Writing Fun with Sarah. And today's project is Fun and Silly. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest thing? <laughs> This is a chill pill. It's a little stuffy, and if you stuff him nice and tight, he can also be a stress reliever. <laughs> well, I know it's April Fool's Day, um, April 1st, and I just don't care for unkind or scary jokes. I think silliness is fun, but I don't think scaring each other and doing things like that, you know, playing tricks on each other is a lot of fun. Just be silly, <laughs> like we are today. <laughs> and this is super fun thing to make. And um, the reason I wanted to go with something silly like this is everything seems really heavy right now. Um, we all have stress in our families, in our health, you know, in the world, work, school, church, everywhere there's stress because people are feeling extra stressful. You know, it's just life. And so it's time for us just to laugh just a little bit. And I read an article from, um, I think it's up from the Mayo Clinic, and I'll put that link down in the notes underneath this video so you can read that article also. And it talks about the benefits of just laughing. It helps us with our anxiety and stress. Laughing helps us feel better. It is a great medicine. It helps our organs inside and helps our physicalness and mental health as well. Again, I'm not a doctor, psychologist, or psychiatrist. I just know I love to laugh and how much better it makes me feel when I do silly things and laugh. I also read an article that said that children laugh 300 times a day. Let's be more like the kids and laugh, all right? So, let's make some silly chill pills. <laughs> And the next time your friend's griping about something, just throw it at them. To make one of our silly chill pills, <laughs> you're going to need some bulky number six yarns. Now you can use blanket yarns, and here's some that I had left over. This one is the blue and gray, and I'm going to use this one today just to make it look a little bit different. And you can also use bulky number six acrylic yarns. And I don't know what brand this is. It's just some I had on, on hand. And it's just all three are a bulky number six. And I believe they call it super bulky number six yarn to make our stuffy. You're going to need both a solid and a variegated to make it look like a capsule. All right. Now, you're also going to need just a little bit of a medium weight number four yarn. It can be acrylic or cotton to make that little crooked smile and the little laugh lines next to the eyes. All right, now let's talk about the safety eyes. These are the ones that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. They're $1.99. This one is 12 millimeter and they're brown. And this one is 15 millimeter and they're the blue ones that this one is wearing. I'm gonna use these today. Now, if you're going to be using this around children, Although they stay pretty secured if you put them on in the stitch, and of course I'll show you that. Um, if you're going to be using them around children who are chewing like toddlers and things, I really suggest that you don't use a safety eye and maybe just use a French knot um, for the eyes because you don't want them pulling those out and choking on those. Because these, these are called wiggle eyes from Hobby Lobby, but they're also called safety eyes. For using with dolls and you can find these over by their doll making accessories like i said they're only a dollar 99 and you get 12 eyes in this one and 16 eyes in the 12 millimeter 15 millimeter you get the 12. we're going to be stitching today with our k hook which is a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and then you're also going to need two needles you'll need a bigger eyed needle for weaving in ends and then you'll need a smaller needle for sewing on those crooked smile and laugh lines. All right? Oh, and don't forget, you're going to need a pair of scissors. Oh, and also, you're going to need some stuffing. And I just have here polyfill regular O stuffing. And you need about two handfuls. 
And it's up to you how tight you want to stuff it. I like to stuff mine pretty tight because I want it to really hold its shape. We're going to start with our white yarn. And you'll notice I have a stitch marker because we're going to be stitching in the round and we're going to need to mark our rows. All right, so leave yourself a little bit of a tell of yarn because we're going to need to close up the hole at the top of our chill pill. <laughs> All right, so I made my slip knot and we're going to chain two. One and two. Now, in the second chain from the hook, we're going to stitch six single crochets. One, two, three. We'll move that tail of yarn out of the way. Four, five, and six. And then we'll take that stitch marker and mark that last stitch. That way we know where our last stitch is. Now for row two, we're going to place two single crochets in each of those six. So we'll go right to that next single crochet. We don't join because we're stitching in the round. So there's two. Four. six, eight, ten. Here's our last stitch, so we'll pull our stitch marker out and stitch two in that one, and that makes twelve. And then we'll place that stitch marker back in so we know where we ended our row. Now, if you don't have a stitch marker, you can always use another piece of yarn that's a different color. Uh, safety pins, paper clips, hair clips, there's lots of other things that you can use. You don't have to have an exact stitch marker. Just make sure you mark your last stitch on each row. Now, before I do row three, I'm going to go ahead and weave this end in since it's at the going to be at the top of my chill pill and it'll be a little bit more difficult to weave it in when we're done. So I'm just going to go ahead and I threaded it on a needle and I'm going to go ahead and weave this in and it'll also close up that hole. And it is a little bit different when you're weaving in with a thick yarn because it really is hard to go through some of those um, fibers of the yarn. So you're going to have to just be careful. Do go through the stitches if at all possible because we don't want the top of our chill pill to open up. All right. All right, I've gone around. Now I'm going to turn and go back the other way. All right, and then I can go ahead and clip that off. And then I won't have to worry about it later because it's kind of a long tube type shape and it's going to be hard to get in there and weave that in later. All right. All right, so let's do round three. So we're going to place one single crochet in the first single crochet and two single crochets in the next. One and two. So that makes three. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then sixteen. We'll take our stitch marker out and place those last two stitches, seventeen and eighteen. And then we'll put our stitch marker right back in. So for row three, I should say round three, you're going to have 18 single crochets. Now for round four, we're going to place one single crochet in each of those 18 stitches. So, whoops, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, we'll take our stitch marker out, and eighteen single crochets. Stitch marker back in. Now, you want to take it and pull it this way because this is the outside of our chill pill and this is the inside and it's going to be kind of curled up because we're now we're making the sides of our chill pill. So now what we're going to do for the next five rows is repeat row four. So for five more rows, we're going to stitch one single crochet in each single crochet around. Move your stitch marker for each row to mark your rows. All right, so for the next five rows, we're repeating row four. I stitched those five additional rows. That brings us up to row nine of the top of my chill pill. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut my yarn. But before I do the second portion, the bottom part of my chill pill, I want to go ahead and add my safety eyes just because I can get my hand up in there and add them. All right, so I've chosen these. These are little brown eyes, super cute. Um, this one is the 12 millimeter. The blue one here is the 16 millimeter. It's totally up to you, you know, which ones you want to do. Now, if you're going to use a French knot and not a safety eye, you don't have to do that yet. You can do that when we stitch on the rest of the face. But because we have to get our hand up in there to get the back on, we want to do the safety eyes now. So what I do is I count down four rows, one, two, three, four, and you want to place that safety eye right in a stitch, not in between or it'll slide out. So you want to stitch it, not stitch it, stick it. <laughs> right in one of those single crochet stitches and you're going to have to work at it a little bit and that's good because you want it to stay all right so now i'm going to turn this so you can see those strings off of there then we'll just take that back and push it on nice and tight and you're going to push it until you hear a click there is a tool that you can get to do these with but i, I don't see that it's necessary all right so there's one and then you want to count out about three, one, two, three, and put that eye in the next one. And you can put them close, apart. You can do them where one's up here and one's down here if you want it to be silly. You can also do them sideways so that one of the eyes um, are this way and put your smile down here. It's up to you how you want to do it. I'm actually going to do mine this way just so you can see that it can be done a different way. All right, so I'm going to, whoops. <laughs> So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to go right in that single crochet stitch itself. Push it in that stitch, not in the hole, or it'll slide through. All right, and so I'm going to stick that on the back. Push it until I hear that click, and then it's on. And I like that, it's super cute. All right, so that gives you some options of how you can do your eyes. So now we're going to add our second color. And we want to go in the next stitch, bring in our new color, and then just finish that single crochet. And now what we're going to do is we're going to continue to repeat row four for six rows. And so we'll just stitch one single crochet in each of those 18 stitches around, just like we did on the previous rows, which is a repeat of row four. So we're going to repeat row four for six more rows in our color two. I have completed those six additional rows in our color two. It's looking really cute. But before we finish with our decrease stitches, I want us to stuff our 
chill pill. <laughs> all right, so we're going to get this stuffing all the way down in there. Make sure we stuff that head real good. And like I said, I like to stuff this particular stuffing nice and tight. Some of them I, I don't stuff them as tight. It just depends on what I'm making. All right, and we're going to stuff this in here. And there's a little more there than what it looks like we need, but we're going to be doing a couple rows of uh, in, uh, decrease rows. And so we want to make sure that we'll have enough stuffing to fill that, okay? And you can always add a little more or pull out some if you want a little less. All right, and so... We've stuffed our stuffy, and now we're ready to finish our decrease rows. And now what we're going to do is we're going to stitch one more row of our one single crochet in each of our 18 single crochet stitches around. All right, now we're going to stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to stitch our next two stitches together one single crochet in the next stitch and then we'll single crochet the next two together single crochet and then stitching our next two together and just in case you don't know we go in, pull up a loop, then we go in the next single crochet and pull up a loop. You have three loops instead of two. Yarn over and go through all three loops. That way we've decreased by one and we're alternating a single crochet with stitching the next two together. And this is going to bring in the top of our chill pill. <laughs> all righty. Okay, I'm going to move that, and we'll do those last two together. And see how it's starting to close that up? Let's put our stitch marker back on there. So what we're going to do for our last row is we're going to stitch all single crochet together, st or decrease stitches. So we'll go in the first one and the next one and stitch those together. One, two, three, four, five. Move that stitch marker out and we'll stitch those last two together. We end up with six stitches. All right, now we still have a little bit of a hole. So we're going to cut our yarn, give ourselves a little bit so we can weave that in. I'm gonna go in the next stitch, pull that loop, and tie off. Now before we tie that off, you wanna get in there a little bit and pull some of that stuffing forward. That's why I wanted you to stuff it a little bit tight after we did those first six rows. All right, so now we're going to take our needle and we're going to weave in that tail of yarn and close up the bottom of our chill pill. All right, so we're just going to go around these stitches and gather that closed. And this bent end needle really works good for this. Oops, there we go. I'm going to go around it again just to make sure it's nice and secure. And we'll go forward and then we'll just go right back the way we came. We don't want the bottom of our chill pill to come undone. All right, and then we'll just go down inside, swirl that needle around some of that stuffing, and pull it forward. And then we'll take that and tie a little knot because I'm pulling on it just a little bit. You can see I'm doing two knots. We'll clip that. Then we'll take our hook and push that back into that stuffing. Actually, I can do my thumb better probably. Yeah, there you go. 
All right, and then we'll pull it a little just so we see how it lays. And so there is the chill pill. There we go. And now all we have left to do is to add the face and those laugh lines. So I'm using my smaller needle and my medium weight number four black yarn. And you can use any colors. You can make the mouth red or pink and you can put different colored eyelashes or they're actually laugh lines. They look like eyelashes if you want to. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up from the back and I'm gonna come up right next to the side of the eye. All right, and before we pull that through, we're gonna go ahead and tie two knots and that's gonna keep it in the stuffing and help it not come through. And then we'll gently pull that in and we can push that in with our crochet hook, get it down in the stuffing. All right, so now we're gonna make those two little lines that are our laugh lines. All right, and it's also important that you go in a, a stitch and not a hole or you'll lose that line. It's up to you how long you wanna make them. And you just make a little V right next to the eye. Then we'll go down, oops, <laughs> and come up next to the other eye. And it might be a little bit difficult find out where that eye is and like here I'm off a little so I'll go back in and come up where it looks a little bit better there we go all right and then I'll just make that V making sure I go through a couple of stitches we want that to show that one's not long enough there we go pulled too hard <clears throat> All right, now we want to make the smile. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make sure I come up in a crochet stitch. Okay, and all we're going to do is we're going to make a V, but we're going to make it a little bit crooked. So we'll make the first part straight and then we'll make the other part come up a little. And again, the size of this is totally up to you. Just have fun with it and play with it and see how you want to do it. And if you don't like what you've done, take it out, <laughs> you know, and do it again. And I'm just using two lines because I want that smile to be a little bit bigger. All righty. Now I'm going to go back to the back again, kind of swirl it in that stuffing and pull that needle through. And we'll pull it just a little. I'm going to cut this so this isn't as long. It's going to make it a little easier to make a knot. And I just make two little knots. I'll clip that. And then we'll just ease that back inside. Like I said, sometimes I use my crochet hook to kind of stuff it in that stuffing. There we go. Hide that. And it pulled a little on my mouth, so I'm going to pull that string just a little, ease it up. This one got pulled a little too, so I'm going to try to make it just a little longer. There we go. And so now, okay, I pulled that too much. <laughs> we have a silly grin on our chill pill. <laughs> Aren't these super fun to make? They're super easy. And also I want to tell you that if you don't have any of the bulky super bulky number six yarn. You can always double up uh, two number fives or three fours and still make these fun and silly <laughs> chill pills. Just have some fun with it. Again, get in your yarn stash, see what you can come up with. And remember, you don't have to use the safety eyes. You can always use a French knot where the eye is. The idea of making these chill pills is just to laugh and have some fun. So do that. <laughs> I'll see you next week for Friday Fun Day with Sarah. Bye-bye now. <laughs>